It's VHS Bandit versus VHS Bandit, with Topher Hansen and Dane Train from the podcast of the same name, facing off in 20 retro questions on 90s kids' movies and raunchy 80s comedies. This is Trivia with Buds. B, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking this out on your very special True Love Valentine's Week. Happy Valentine's Day. It's tomorrow if you're listening to this show uh, on schedule on the day it came out. And what I love about Valentine's Day is the horror movie of the same name. I'm just kidding. That was uh, that was the movie Valentine with uh, the guy who played Angel. I forget his name. But he goes around and he kills all uh, his old uh, girls from high school that made fun of him. I think I spoiled that movie for you. But hey, happy Valentine's Day. Hope you're having a great week. And if you're looking for something for your honey, your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, maybe your mom or dad, I have some great custom Valentine's Uh, themed around different trivia elements of things that I host and my own uh, weird pictures from Facebook and things. So check those out, triviawithbuds.com. If you go to the blog, it'll be the newest blog, and I'll be putting those up later today. So look for them today or uh, tomorrow on Valentine's Day. Custom Valentine's from your pal, Ryan Buds. This show is a trivia showdown today. We have two very fun guests from the VHS Bandits podcast. These guys are great. I uh, I stumbled upon them on Instagram, I think, and I started following them, and I'm like, these guys watch every movie that I used to watch as a kid and a teenager. I should have them battle in some VHS trivia on the show. So that's what we set up, and now they're good friends. So we are going to have them uh, battle in some raunchy 80s comedy trivia and some 90s kids trivia in just a bit. But before we get to that, we have some uh, house cleaning to do, and we have some stuff here. Uh, speaking of house cleaning, I am uh, looking to buy a house. So I'm reaching out to you, the listener. Do you sell houses? Do you list houses? Do you have tips on what I should do to buy my first house? I'm always looking for insight from anybody that has done it before and knows more about it than me. And I've been reading a lot about it online, and uh, we're trying to decide between buying a brand, brand new house or uh, a house that's just a little bit older. So if you have tips about that, reach out to me, ryanbuds at gmail.com. Let me know what's up. We're looking to buy, obviously, in Southern California, uh, the Inland Empire area, if you know that area. Uh, I'll be in Chicago this weekend. I'm not looking forward to it because it's uh, 20 degrees there and there's tons of snow, but a lot of it's melting over the next few days. Uh, It is a business trip, not a pleasure trip um, in the fact that we're cleaning out my mom's house so she can sell the house we grew up in. So my brother and I are making this big trip. So I might be able to see some Chicago friends. If you uh, if you want to meet up or hang out, let me know. I'll be at my mom's house probably the whole time. We're trying to get a lot of stuff done. And I'll be there Friday to early Monday morning. Shoot me a text or an email if, uh, if you know me, and uh, we'll try and coordinate something. We don't have too much other stuff to talk about in this intro before we get to the trivia, the meat of the episode. And if you like just trivia with not a lot of banter, uh, check out the mini episodes we've been putting out on Thursdays. My dog Carver agrees that you should check it out. And this Thursday, we have a Game of Thrones mini episode. So 15 questions on the hit show Game of Thrones. Check that out on Thursday. Subscribe to this show and you'll never miss a full length or mini episode. Let's get into some VHS trivia with my friends Topher and Dane. Here we go. in my uh, man cave in Laverne, California, and I am on an amazing Skype call with two new buddies of mine. Mr. Topher Hansen. What's up, Topher? Hey, what's going on, Ryan? And Dane Train. How you doing, Dane? Hey, Ryan. What's up, good buddy? Oh, you sound like you're from the East Coast, Dane. Is that right? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Is your last name really Train? I was reading that to my wife out loud earlier. She goes, his name is Dane Train? I go, I hope so. (laughs) It's uh well uh, that's a nickname. Yeah. The two of us on the show use uh, use not our real names. Yeah. Except for except for the T man over here. Sure. Um, but uh, I, when I was in college, uh, my nickname was Dane Train, so I just used it um, for the show. Love it. And the show you're talking about is uh, the VHS Bandits. You guys are uh, the co-hosts of a great VHS 
uh, watching and collecting based podcast. And that's how I found you. I think I saw a post or I searched the word VHS and it came up and I'm like, oh, this, these seem like guys I should be friends with. So I sent you guys, awesome. I sent, I sent a message to the VHS bandits on Instagram. Topher, I think you responded. We went back and forth in some emails and here we are recording an episode of my show. So thank you guys so much for doing it. No, thank you, man. Yeah, I was psyched. Uh, Topher, I'm going to read your bio. You sent me uh, Topher Hansen, known for his relatable performances as the underdog under the pressures of extraordinary circumstances. Alongside acting, Topher has uh, also produced two award-winning feature films. Most recently, the horror comedy short Dark Roast is Topher's first major jump into writing, producing, acting, and directing all at once, and that's currently making the rounds in multiple film festivals. You're originally from uh, the East Coast yourself there, Topher, uh, Worcester, yeah, Massachusetts, and you fell in love with performing at an early age and uh made a bunch of stuff with your friends you got a bunch of stuff coming up and uh you love vhs's tell me about your love of vhs's oh man well like you know i i'm one of those kids that was just raised by the television and i watch movies all the time like kids go outside and play sports and stuff no not me and Dane Train. We watch movies. There you go. <laughs> and That's right. So in, in that bio I sent you, I know it was long, but like Dane was uh, my buddy that we would take his VHS camera and make movies in his backyard and stuff. So that really kicked off um my acting career and everything so that's awesome I mean, man yeah VHS that's just has just been there for me there you cool. go yeah i think for a lot of us who maybe weren't the biggest uh all-star athletes you kind of felt like you were part of the team when you're watching the mighty ducks you know what i mean right yeah yeah exactly. and then you try and then you try pulling off a knuckle puck in a game of street hockey and uh you just fall on your face <laughs> Yep, uh, that's, that's my street hockey experience. I'm with you. Really I'm with you, Topher. All right, Dane, here's your bio. You said co-host of the VHS Bandits podcast. Dane Train enjoys nothing more than hanging out with his friends, getting some cheap food, and watching old VHS tapes. Man, I used to do that so often in high school, and I miss doing that. We would just go rent us like two movies from the local video store and uh, just eat. We used to call them Dream Dogs. My friend had like a 30... 30- maybe a hundred hot dogs in a big box from like Costco or something. And we'd be like, oh, no. every time we ate those hot dogs, we would have insane dreams. So we call them dream dogs. And uh, oh, so I'm with, I'm with you on the cheap food. Hot dogs. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Dane's into action flicks, screwball sex comedies, and those are the go-tos of his collection. Dane has been a professional videographer and editor for nearly a decade, 10 years working in community media, and when he's not collecting VHS or behind a camera, he enjoys restoring classic cars and playing vintage horror video games. Give me an example of a vintage horror video game. Oh, uh, Clock Tower on PS1. Oh, yes. I don't know why I read the word video game, and I was thinking board game, and I'm like, are there a lot of vin- oh, vintage well, horror of board games? Another, uh, category uh, the, the video board game yeah. Nightmare is one of our favorites that we grew up playing. Oh, man. I never played a lot of those, but my friend Steve Scapperdine, great photographer in Chicago, does a lot of weddings, Steve Scap on Instagram, he does. Uh, he, he had a game called Clue, like the mystery VHS board game of Clue. Oh, Do you remember yeah. that? Sure. I got to get my hands on that because I'm a huge Clue fan. I'm actually doing a podcast tomorrow night where uh, we talk about how we would ideally remake the movie Clue. So I got to I gotta watch it tonight to study up. Nice. That's one of my favorites. Came out the year I was born and uh, just one of the best. Uh, what are some it's of your good. favorite – let me hear your favorite uh, action flick and your favorite screwball sex comedy, Dane. Uh, favorite screwball sex comedy is definitely Hamburger the Motion Picture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, – my favorite action movie? Oh man, that's a tough one. Um, off the top of my head, probably Commando with with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I love there that movie. There you go. Yeah. I love it. I don't think I've actually seen either of those movies, which will make you uh, want to punch me in the stomach. Well, you got to go down to the video store and go, and go rent them. <laughs> what you is that? Uh, Hollywood video. Yeah. You, you know what's funny? There is a Hollywood video out by me, maybe 20 minutes away. It's the exact same store as the chain Hollywood video, but it's called like Superstar Video. You know, like they just, they changed uh, the word Hollywood, but it's all the same decor. Oh, no way. Yeah, it's is pretty that cool. Up in, like North Hollywood. No, this. I've been trying to yeah. find like video stores, and that's where the most of them still are. Sure. Like that area. Yeah, you're right about that. Canoga Park has a few. I used to live over there. I live way out on the 210, uh, way out east in a town called Laverne, California. But the the, vid- the Hollywood video, I believe, is in uh, Pomona, California. So uh, if you're ever out here, Tilfer, because I know you're an LA guy, uh, we'll have to yeah. we'll have to go on a field trip. Yes, please. There hey, you, you guys go. Should tape it. You know what I mean? That would be pretty cool. Maybe we'll do an on location yeah. type thing. 
How cool would it be to do like a video podcast in a video store? That would be kind of fun. Oh my, oh my God. God. That would be our dream. Oh. Seriously, that'd be the best. Put, hey, now that we put it out there in the universe, it's bound to happen. Trivia showdown. All right. Now that we know a little bit about you guys, we're going to kind of reveal what we're doing today. It's kind of a fun episode. Usually I'll have two guests pick uh, five categories about things they're into, and I'll pick two of those categories, and they'll kind of battle on those topics. But since you guys are so into VHS movies, I kind of narrowed it down for you. So I have two categories that we're going to reveal right now. We're going to do 10 questions on raunchy 80s comedies and 10 questions on 90s kids movies. Now I'm going to assign one of those topics to each of you. So uh, Dane, which one would you like? Which one do you you, uh, think you know more about oh man uh, i'm probably gonna say sex comedies all right raunchy 80 comedies raunchy 80s comedies will be uh dane's topic and uh that means toe for years will be 10 questions on 90s kids movies how do you feel about that I feel great. I'm more of a clean cut guy, unlike Dane, who's a rock. <laughs> well, I thought, you know, I thought about the, I thought about the title of this episode already, and I'm like, I can't, I, I have to say raunchy '80s comedies because I can't have teen sex comedy and kids movies in the same title. Uh, you know yeah, what I mean? That makes perfect, yeah. <laughs> I felt like that might be an error <laughs> on on move. someone's part. So yeah, that's yeah. what we'll do. And uh, we'll have you guys buzz in. You had to wait for the whole question to be read. And you get one point when you get your topic's question right. So, Dane, when you get a raunchy 80s comedy question right, you'll get one point. And uh, Topher, same for you on 90s kids movies. But if you can steal the answer to the other guy's topic, so let's say Topher gets a raunchy 80s comedy uh, question before Dane does or after Dane misses it, you only get one chance to guess. Uh, You'll get two points. So there's a little strategy going back and forth between you guys there. And uh, you got to wait for the whole question to be read so people can kind of play along listening at home. And uh, we'll have a buzz in word. What is a like one or two syllable word or phrase that maybe means something between the two of you guys? Maybe something from your podcast? Um, so, 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 uh, <laughs> okay. I love the so, pause. The pregnant pause is really exciting. The, uh, the second word of the day <laughs> yeah. is, uh, so, um, I'm going to have to go with poopy ghosts and that's because, uh, a little inside a secret boys and ghouls, uh, when, before we start recording our show and we, uh, and we are doing the levels, you know, we're, we're checking the levels on the zoom recorder. Sure. Uh, we're saying like, checking the mic, checking the mic, poopy ghosts with poopy trails. And that's just become a tradition. Very uh, good. So the VHS Bandits show. podcast, they're into excrement and <laughs> ectoplasmic <laughs> creatures. I love it. Very good. So we got uh, Poopy Ghost uh-huh. for the buzz in. Topher, are you cool with that? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, here we go. This is uh, this is what we'll do. We'll go back and forth. We'll start with raunchy 80s comedies. Either of you can buzz in with the word Poopy Ghost. Wait for the whole question to be read. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. 20 ready. questions. Ready. Here we go. Here's the first one. Raunchy 80s comedies. Question number one. Hot Dog is a 1984 comedy focused around what sport? Poopy Ghost. Poopy Ghost. Uh, I think it was uh, Topher, right? Yeah. Topher, ah, he got it. Topher buzzed in first. It was skiing. Hot Dog the movie. Woo. That is one point. Actually, that's two points for Topher because it's not his topic. So well done, hey, Toph. Everybody. That's you know, pretty that's good. One of, that's one of Dane's uh, favorite uh other than hamburger. Oh, yeah. Quick bit. little quick little tidbit. The guy who did Hot Dog yeah. the movie also did Hamburger the Motion Picture. And so. is is what is Hamburger the Motion Picture focus on? Oh, it's about um a university uh that teaches you how to run a burger chain called Buster Burger. Oh, I and, can't wait um, to see and this is was your favorite movie you said awesome. earlier. I can't wait. <laughs> Uh, yeah. my, a fun story about Hot Dog the movie, my older brothers always told me, because they're 10 and 12 years older than me, so they were big 80s kids. I was more of a 90s kid. And they uh, they said, one, uh, they would always uh, try and rent this movie, like at the video store. And my mom would always go, you're not watching that. And she'd put it back on the shelf, you know? And then one, <laughs> one day, my dad came home from work, and my mom and dad were in a bowling league. And he said, all right. He said, we're going bowling. And he goes, I got you guys a movie. And he like winked at them. And it was uh, Hot Dog the Movie. So yeah. he, he, he knew what was up. And uh, that was yeah. their first big, probably, uh, taste of uh, some topless 80s action. <laughs> and I think I bought it for them on DVD for Christmas maybe like 10 years ago. So, oh, no way. Yeah, there you go. Hot Dog the Movie. Here's question awesome. number one for the 90s kids side. Either of you can buzz in and uh, if... If Dane can steal this one, it's two points for him. One point for Topher if he gets it. Number one, in a Goofy movie, what creature dances with a Walkman on in the background of a scene? Poopy Ghost. 
Sasquatch. It is a Sasquatch or Bigfoot. Well done, Topher. That's your third point. Three nothing. Dane, got to get on the board. I know. Please, please. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question number two Fast Times at Ridgemount High takes place in what state? California. Dane. I'll give it you Dane, you can get it. I think it was it was in California, right? That's right. Your first point, yeah. it's not a shutout. Well done, man. Well done, buddy. One point. It's three to one. It could uh, still anybody's game. Now you guys talk a lot about kind of give the format of your show. You guys watch a different movie every episode. Is that how it works? That's yeah. right. And so you're yeah, you pick watch. out a movie to watch that you, is it usually a movie you've seen or haven't seen or uh, sometimes, sometimes like only one of us has seen it and the rest of us haven't usually, yeah. or sometimes like we'll go down to the Goodwill, find some wacky tape and sure. bring it in and yeah. be like, holy crap, we got to watch this. You know, we've never heard of this. <laughs> there right. you go. We try to find stuff that like is only on VHS ideally. It's yeah. not always the case or just like obscure weird stuff that you like wouldn't be able to find anywhere else i love it I, yeah. i'm the same man i love finding that kind of stuff i uh yeah i don't i've never watched it i did just get a um like a not maybe a nine or ten inch tv um with a vcr built in and i have a small <laughs> a small vhs collection and i bought like a big collector's edition of a tv movie called shogun do you guys know that no seen it yeah it's i think it was like a maybe a, a british show i don't know anything about it but it looked expensive and i looked it up online and some editions of it sell for a lot so i just grabbed it some other vhs's nice. i have lying around uh i have like three different covers for roadhouse because it's like one of my favorite movies of all time mm, yeah. i have the original ninja turtles the original batman and uh a couple of like Zelda, Super Mario uh, cartoons. Oh, yeah. So nice. I, I don't collect too much because I would just have, fine. yeah, I would Good have stuff. so much. Good but when, whenever I find something key, I'm like, I got to get this. So exactly. that's where I'm at. And uh, if totally. you're listening to totally. this show yeah. and you, if you love VHSs, you love kind of reminiscing about uh, them nostalgically, definitely check out uh, Dane and Topher's show, The VHS Bandits. What uh, day of the week does your show come out? It's typically every other Monday. There you go. Every other Monday. Check that out. And here is question number two for the 90s kids movie side. What is the coach's last name in the Mighty Ducks? I knew this was going to be a question. Oh, my God. Uh, I, I was, oh, my God. <laughs> I just picked up the movie at Savers for a dollar, too, and I didn't rewatch. I haven't seen it since, like, whenever it came out. Not oh, in, in man. The theater in 1992 or whatever it was. Sure. Ah! Uh, Emilio a tough Estevez. Ah! Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I can't remember. I was like, I hope he doesn't ask this question because it's so obvious. Yet I don't remember. I what know. It is. No guesses know. from you guys. Uh, can you? Can we get a hint? Let's say it starts with the. It, it starts with the letter B. Uh. Oh man, <laughs> oh, I can't remember. All right, I'll reveal the answer. Oh, it's uh, Coach gosh. Bombay. Ah, that's it. There you go. Hey. Oh no, oh, no points there. Topher's got three against Dane's one. We're back on the raunchy 80s yeah. comedy side. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Here is number three. What is the bombshell's name in the movie Weird Science? <sighs> so not the actress. Kelly LeBrock was the actress. I'm just looking for the first yeah, yeah, name yeah, yeah. of the, the, the uh, like superhuman they create. She was in Hard to Kill with Steven Seagal. Um, yeah, that's right. So Kelly LeBrock is the actress. What is the character's name in Weird Science that they create? I watched that like last year too. Yeah. Um, oh God. Uh, oh man, I feel so wicked dumb. I can't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Toe for any guesses? Uh, I, I don't I'm know. Gonna, I'm stopped. I'm going to say poopy ghost. Let me just throw it out there. Samantha. <laughs> that's a great guess. That's actually, that's a really good guess. It's not Samantha, um, Damn. but it's uh, it's a shorter name than that. Any guesses for you, Dane? Um, Oh God. Uh, was it like Tina or something like that? Very close. The answer was Lisa. No! Ah! Lisa. They shower with oh, her with their man. clothes on. Classic teen, raunchy 80s comedy. Here comes question ah, number three for the 90s kids movie side. In the movie Little Giants, what is the nickname for the main female character? The oh. Pumi Ghost! Dane. Wasn't it, uh, um, wasn't it the fridge? Oh, you're so close. Mm! Or like, was it, oh, hold on, Pumi Ghost again! Yeah. Was it like, uh, oh, no, 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 the ice box. I'm going to give it to you, Dane. It was ice box. Well done. Oh, yeah. And yeah. that makes it three to three, a perfectly tied game. We got about uh, another 10 or 12 questions here. Let's jump uh, onto the 80s raunchy side again. Here it is, number four. Okay. Uh, Chuck Mitchell 
is a large character actor that portrayed what 80s title character? Chuck Mitchell is a large character actor that portrayed what 80s title character? Um, uh, uh, it's Poopy Ghost. Yes. Um, uh, uh, was he, was he in, uh, uh, was he the, was he the big guy in Meatballs 2? He was not, well, he may have been. I don't know. I only know the one thing I looked up, so we'll, uh, you still need, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to look it up afterwards, but I'm looking for a little bit more of a title character. So the movie, the name of the movie I, is his name. Oh, oh uh, all right. Uh, his name is the name of the movie? His name is the name of the movie. What do you think it could be? Uh, What's the actor's name again? Oh, Chuck Porky's? Mitchell. The answer Porky's? is the answer is Porky's. Yeah, all right. Well done. All right, that's uh let's see, one point for Dane. That makes it four to three. And we're gonna oh, jump on the other oh. side here. Topher <laughs> down by one. Let's see what he can do oh. here. This is number four for nineties kids movies. How does Macaulay Culkin's character die in my girl? Poopy ghost. Dane. Bee stings. Bee stings to the brain and the rest of his body. Five I was points. The good child. I was like his mom. Oh, oh man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he dies in a lot of movies. In the Page Master, yeah. there's a deleted scene where he just gets his head cut off. A lot of people don't right. remember that. Oh, yeah. no way. <laughs> Not really. Number uh, five. <laughs> Raunchy 80s comedies, number five. How many total Revenge of the Nerds flicks have there been? Poopy Ghost. Oh, Poopy Ghost. Was that Topher? Four, four. Yes. Topher got it, oh, and got it, it is four. There are four, <laughs> and that's two points for Topher, making it five to five. Five to five. Nerds in the... Those last two were uh, made-for-TV movies, but you could uh, yeah, definitely right. r- definitely yep. rent them back in the day, so you guys are probably yeah. aware of them. Here comes question number five for 90s kids movies. Who plays the mean camp owner in Heavyweights? Oh, uh, Dane. Oh, shit. Did I get it? Yeah, Dane. Ben Still. Ben Stiller. Oh, that was one of our episodes. Ah, I, yeah. I think that was the one I first yeah. listened to. Nice job. Seven to oh, five. Uh, Dane's awesome. up by two. It's a very close game. Well done, guys. Here comes question number six. Let's see if Topher can grab it. Who plays Mercedes in the film License to Drive? Oh, I'm Dane. Heather Graham. Heather Graham's correct. That's hands down one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, I love it. The, my favorite love line, it. one of my favorite lines from the 80s is, you mustn't fuck with the DMV. I think that's such yeah. a great, <laughs> such a like great, a living hell. it was like one of the most like, like you didn't see it coming and you're like, whoa, that lady just swore. <laughs> you know, it was like yeah. such a great I line. Uncle Phil as the driving instructor is the best part of that movie. Oh, that is good too. That is good stuff. Yeah. Here comes question number uh, six for the other side. This is 90s Kids Movies. What was the Adams Family sequel called? Poopy Ghost. Uh, Poopy Ghost. Poopy Ghost. Uh, Dane. Family Values. Adams Family Values. That's two more points, making it 10 to 5, just like that. Ooh, nice job. In the lead. Oh, yeah. In the lead. <laughs> Tover needs to steal some of these raunchy 80s comedies questions. Maybe he can steal this one. Number seven. What goofy movie had a hot rap song called Top That? What goofy movie had a hot rap song called Top That? Oh, no. One of my favorite episodes of How Did This Get Made. Do you guys listen to that podcast? Uh, yeah, yeah. Really, really good episode if you want to start somewhere. Um, oh, no. What goofy uh, movie had a hot rap song called Top That? Wasn't hot moves, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I wouldn't even call this one super raunchy. I don't think there's a lot of sex going on in this movie. Oh, man, I... I don't know. I'm stumped. Team man, you gotta take it. What's that? It's a comedy. Yeah. Well, supposed to be. It's co- it's comedic for a lot of other reasons. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Poopy Ghost. Yep. Mannequin Two. Very close. It was uh, Dane. Do you have a guess? No. It I was uh, Mannequin One. No, nah, it was a uh, Teen Witch. Teen Witch. Oh, oh that movie sucks. Oh, no oh, wonder oh, I didn't oh. know it. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty bad, but great if you like weed. Here's the next one. Uh, number seven. This is 90s kids movies. Dunstan Checks In stars what animal? Uh, 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 a chimpanzee. There you go. Well done, uh, Topher. Got <laughs> we he got it. Story about that we, have, we have a Dunstan <laughs> Checks In story. What is it? Tell it. You tell it, dude. Well, me and Dave, we've been best friends forever. Sure. And forever. In um, elementary school, so maybe second grade or something. <laughs> I really wanted to see Dunstan Checks In because um, 
because it had Paul Rubens in it. <laughs> and okay. I was like, oh, Pee Wee's in this movie. We got to go see it. There's a monkey and everything. <laughs> and and my parents were divorced. So when Dunstan Checks In came out, it was like a dad weekend and I was away. Yeah. And guess who saw Dunstan Checks In without me? Oh, was it that Dane son of a bitch Dane Train? Dane train? I still regret it to this day. (laughs) I won't let him live it down. Hey, you know what, dude? We don't even have that on tape. So we need to get a copy of that and sort of like bring it back and do an episode about that. It's like a retribution episode. Oh, I'll keep an eye out here for you guys. If I find one, I'll send it to you. (laughs) Yeah, everybody, keep an eye out. I have six copies myself. I just can't part with any of them. So if I find another Uh, one, I'll let you know. It is that kind of a movie. I don't blame you for hanging on to them. There you go. I still haven't seen it, honestly, till this day because of the the pain. Oh, I love it. The (laughs) Dane Train Pain. The Dane Train Pain. Here we go. Number eight. This is 80s raunchy comedies. What is being lifted up on the poster for the movie Zapped? Oh, uh, uh, Poopy Ghost. Yep. Zapped. Uh, is it like he's lifting off a bra or something? I'm going to give it to you. Out? Topher, I'm going to give it to you. He's lifting up a, a gal's skirt. Ah, okay. You were close. You said bra. That's that's pretty close. He's, he's removing that's a woman's clothing thank with you, his powers, you. which is not good for Scott Bale being in the news lately for like harassment and uh, <laughs> all kinds of yeah, stuff in right. the 80s. Oh, right. They should mm-hmm. probably hide that movie poster. But that's uh, two points for Topher. And just like that, it's eight to ten. All right. Oh, here's God. Oh, God. Number... <laughs> Number eight, 90s kids movies. What is the little rascal's dog's name? Uh, Poopy Ghost. Tover. Spot? It's not Spot. Dane, do you have a guess? Oh, um, oh, oh, geez. Um, I remember seeing the movie in the theaters, too. That movie sucks. Uh, yeah, it does suck. It's probably, um, <laughs> I don't remember, to tell you the truth. I honestly don't Can remember. Can I get a second guess? Sure, let's do it, Tove. <laughs> is it Speck? It's not Speck. It's uh, the yeah, first right. name of my favorite rapper that uh, tells you to take your shirt off and spin it around like a helicopter. Uh, Petey Pablo, the dog's name is Petey. Oh, uh, I was uh, nowhere, nowhere near the vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> Petey, the dog from Little Rascals. Number nine. We're getting near the end. We got four questions left oh for the first God. 20. Let's see what we got here. Number nine, what is Patrick Dempsey's job besides a gigolo in the movie Lover Boy? Oh, Pizza Boy. He got it, Dane, with his uh, 11 point. going to be a Meatballs 4 question. <laughs> oh, I thought so too. <laughs> is Dempsey the star of Meatballs 4? He indeed Meatballs is. Meatballs 3 is Summer Job. Oh, 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 Meatballs 3, yeah, I'm sorry. Meatballs 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meatballs 4 is uh, Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman. Oh, my God. I've seen all the Meatballs, but um, those last couple are a blur, you know? Meatballs oh, they're, 4 they're, is good. They're all, Meatballs 3 is all good. Is number 2 topic. is the best. <laughs> Dane Train loves number three. Number two. Yeah, oh, number man. three's awesome, too. I love Dane it. Kev Bot, not so much. Here we go. Number nine. Who is the youngest of the three ninjas? What is the kid? Oh, ca- I, 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 Poopy Ghost. Yep. Tom Tom. Tom Tom is correct, and that's two points for Dane. Two more. Oh, man. 13 yeah. to eight. It's a five-point game. Uh, three ninjas light up the eyes, boys. One of my favorite movies watching growing up. <laughs> I love when movies were so popular to to us as kids that weren't even in theaters. Like I don't even think that movie was in theaters, was it? Um, I think like maybe the first one was, but I think the either that one or the last two I think were straight to video. I know I think uh, Mega Mountain was a uh, high noon at Mega Man- Mountain. I'm pretty sure it was straight to video. Interesting. Which the movie's awesome. Oh I mean, yeah. You know, Jim Varney's in there. Hulk Hogan. Love it. Here we go. Last question for raunchy '80s comedies. Let's see who's going to get one or two points. Oh, Number ten. What? contest does terry lose in the movie just one of the guys which causes her to want to switch sexes oh man uh, I, poopy I, ghost is yeah. it a writing contest it is exactly a writing competition yeah. nice job topher I seen it i know and you got two more points one. so it's 10 to 13 it's a very close game writing mm-hmm. competition uh in well, just one okay. of the guys and number 10 here we go this is it for uh the last question for 90s kids movies who is the dad who plays the dad in the movie Getting Even with Dad? Poopy Ghost, Poopy Ghost. It is Ted Danson. Topher got it for ah. one more point. And just like that, it's a two-point game. 11 points for Topher, 13 for Dane. How'd you guys feel about the first 20 questions? Oh, man, this is awesome. This is freaking awesome. Very good. Thank you uh, for doing it, guys. This is great. That's 20 questions. We're going to uh, dive into round number two. This is round number two. This is called the Combo Question. Combo Question. 
And the combo question con kind of combines the 80s and the 90s in a way, and I kind of found a way to tie it back into my own podcast. So let's see how you do with this one. This is for two points. So whoever gets this gets two points. You're still buzzing in with Poopy Ghost. For two points, a past guest on my podcast, his name was Victor Dematia, played Timmy Timmons in The Sandlot. He played what comic strip character in a 1987 made-for-TV movie with the subtitle Dinosaur Hunter? What character did he play? Uh, poopy ghost. Yeah, uh, I can only think of uh, Churrock dinosaur. I know. That's what sure. I, was <laughs> That's, I, I don't think I'm right. Uh, the yeah, he, right. Tur Turok is a dinosaur hunter. This is a and com it was a comic book. It's a comic strip though, so think more like oh, newspaper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Victor Damadia uh, in the Sandlot, and then he played what comic strip character in '87? It was called the name of the character, Dinosaur Hunter. Made for TV movie. It, uh, it's a tough question. Uh, uh, definitely wasn't Lost in Dinosaur World, I'll tell you that. Or Lost in Dinosaur City. <laughs> you're think, you're thinking Avengers on the right track. Dinosaur. Avengers uh, in Dinosaur City. Can we guesses. have another hint, perhaps? It was a TV movie, you said? It was a TV movie. You could definitely rent it. I remember seeing it at the video store. Um, <sighs> this character has blonde hair. I know, like, every dinosaur movie, too. I'm surprised. I know, dude. How did you not poopy ghost this one yet? Well, I will tell you that they don't, like, sometimes, like, on IMDb, it doesn't have this subtitle. But when you watch the trailer, it has the subtitle. So it, okay. like, oh, it, is it? Oh, I know. I know what it is. Yep. It's um, poopy ghost. It's yep. Dennis the Menace. It is Dennis the Menace. Well wow, done. Holy crap, dude. Dennis I was the Menace. That the other day. Dinosaur oh, Hunter. I know, I know the tape now. I know. I Victor Damadia. Listen, uh, listen to a past episode. I wish I had the number off the top of my head, but if you just go back, I had uh, Victor Damadia from The Sandlot and his brother Brian Bonsall, who was in the movie Blank Check as Preston Waters. And, uh, yeah, right. He did an episode on Blank Check. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very good. You guys would love this. We battled. They battled in punk rock trivia and video game trivia, oh, wow. but it was cool hearing oh, their stories. Man, I, oh, man. I'm about, it out. Yeah. yeah. It was a really fun one. They talked about auditioning for those movies and things, and uh, it was great. So here we go. Uh, that was uh, tying up the game perfectly. It's 13 to oh, 13. Man. So it all comes down to this last round, which is this very is like rare. This is like the Super Bowl. This is very cool. We're going into overtime. <laughs> and uh, the third round we're going to do, it's called Categories with Buds. Categories with Buds. So we're going to go around in a circle and name stuff from a certain category. The category today is going to be Horror Icons. So we're not naming uh, really the titles of movies. We're naming more like iconic horror characters. And we'll go in a circle. I'll kick it off. Then we'll go to Topher, then Dane, then back to me. As long as you can name one in like five seconds, you're still in. You can't do any repeats. And the last person standing gets three points. So whoever wins this will get uh, the championship title, which I, I don't have anything for. But you will, you will, I'll send you a copy of Dunstan Checks In, whoever gets this. All right? Oh, okay. And, uh, and I'm going to play with you guys. If I happen to be the last person standing, I'll award the three points to uh, one of the two of you. So here we go. Oh. I'll kick it off. Horror icons. I'm going to say Hellraiser. Uh, Hellraiser's Pinhead. And who goes next? Anyone? Uh, Topher. Oh, I'm next. Okay, yeah. uh, Freddy Krueger. Very good. Dane? Uh, Jason. Jason Voorhees. I'll say Michael Myers. I'll say Victor Crowley. Who's that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say That's Angeline's uh, film. Okay. Uh, the fourth one just came out on uh, Blu-ray and DVD um, Tuesday. Very good. Uh, I'm going to say uh, Angela from Night of the Demons. Very good. I will say Leprechaun from the Leprechaun movies. I'm going to say... Angela from uh, Sleepaway Camp. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm gonna say Uncle Impy, Uncle Impsy from um, uh, uh, Slimeball Bolarama. Um, you know what I'm talking about? That sounds like a real thing. I'm gonna say yeah. Leatherface. Ah, I'm gonna say um, Ghostface from the Scream movies. Perfect. I'm going to say uh, the the guy who takes people's skin and puts it on, the, the Spanish conquistador from the House of the Dead, the Uwe Boll movie. <laughs> very, very insider information. Uh, I will do um, I will do Captain Spaulding from The Devil's Rejects. Nice. I'll say the puppets from Puppet Master. Yeah. I'm going to say Sammy Kerr from Trick or Treat. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say Jigsaw from the Saw movies. I'm going to say... Sam from Trick or Treat. Oh, Ooh, that's a good one. You talking about my boy Sam Hain? Is that what? his name? Is his name Sam Hain? Is that the full name? 
Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's just. I think it's, I think just, it's Sam. just Sam. Interesting. All right. Very good. I think it's just Sam. All right. I'm gonna say the, uh, Clint Howard, the Ice Cream Man from. The ice cream oh, man. that was a movie I watched on repeat. And then there was a oh, movie called so there was there was another movie right before or after that called Mr. Ice Cream Man that was really hard to find. And it's made with like a Game Boy camera. It's the worst movie. Oh, if you if you guys can find Mr. Ice Cream Man, you gotta watch it. We used to watch it and, and eat those dream dogs on repeat at my friend Steve Nelson's house. It was the best. Nice. <laughs> Um, I have no other uh, icons. I'm I'm drawing a blank. What do you guys got? We're to showdown. I'm gonna say uh, Gizmo from Gremlins. Sure. Doctor Giggles from Doctor Giggles. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say Dracula from any Dracula movie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say Frankenstein from Frankenstein Unleashed. We're going old school. Uh, I'm gonna have to go for the Wolfman from Monster Squad. That specific wolf man. <laughs> oh, ooh, okay. All right. I'm going to have to go with the creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, I'm going to have to go with the uh, the little impy guy in Basket Case. <laughs> the impy oh, guy. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, I'm going to go with... Um, uh, oh, geez. Oh, no, no, no. I'm losing it. <laughs> Topher is the winner. Three points for Topher. And that means it's a game of, uh, let's see, it was 13-13, so 16-13. What a great battle. Nice job, guys. Oh, man. It's, just like, it's just like the Patriots. There you go. Just like, like the Patriots. The Patriots. Well yeah, done. Last year, not this year. Where can people find more about you guys individually and then as a podcast? Okay. Go ahead, team man. Thanks, dude. Uh, well, you can find out. Uh, at the podcast, where on Instagram is probably our biggest uh, social media outlet. Uh, Dane Train usually handles a lot of that. It's at VHS Bandits. And on Twitter, at the VHS Bandits. And if you just search us on whatever podcast app you use, the VHS Bandits will pop up. And um, you can email us at the VHS Bandits at gmail.com. But if you want to check out me specifically and check out all my movies and stuff that I have upcoming, you can just follow me at Topher Hansen, T-O-P-H-E-R-H-A-N-S-S-O-N, two S's in my name. Awesome. How about you, Dane? Um, yeah, that's it. He covered the whole shebang. <laughs> Very oh, good. Sorry, <laughs> Thank you guys so much I for don't... doing the show. And uh, Topher, since you're out here in L.A., we'll have to do, like I said, that field trip. Have you ever gone to Frankensons in City of Industry? No, what is that? Oh, it's a huge toy and collectible convention, like every Saturday in this huge warehouse. And it's free. It's tons of fun. It's really close to my house. So you'll have to drive out. We'll go to that. And then we'll go to that video store. And uh, you can brag to Dane. This is like uh, your revenge for him seeing Dunstan checks in without (laughs) you. Why don't you, you guys like uh, uh, get a camera and, and video it, and we'll put it up on our YouTube page. That sounds great. Yeah, we'll do yeah. a bunch of selfie iPhone videos. It'll be awesome. Thanks, yeah, guys. I, I, I appreciate you. Come on our show sometime, right? I would love to. Give me an assignment on uh, Instagram, and I'll watch it as soon as possible, and then we'll talk about it. Nice. All right, Justin checks in. It is. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a great episode. Thanks, you guys. All six of your copies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have a good rest of your week. All right, you too. Thank you so Thanks, much. Dude. All right. There it is, a very close battle between two VHS nerds, Topher Hansen, Dane Train. Thank you so much for doing the show, guys. So glad to know you. And everybody listening, go download, subscribe, and tell a friend about the VHS Bandits podcast. Such a fun group of guys talking about really fun stuff. They just put out an episode on UHF in the time since we recorded over the weekend. Uh, UHF, one of my favorite Weird Al movies, because there's only one. Check that one out and uh, see what you think. And the other episode that I, I really liked of their show was Heavyweights. So go back if you remember the Fat Camp movie from the 90s. Uh, and then just look at all the titles. They have so many good ones on there. 
Uh, if you like my show, please tell a friend about it. That's the best way to spread the love. And hey, it's Valentine's week. Tell a partner, tell a loved one about how much fun this show is to listen to, to play along to on a road trip. People tell me that all the time. And man, do I love hearing that. Uh, we have 84 reviews for this podcast. I would love to get it up to 90. If you leave a review, the next six will get a very special Skype session with me. That's right. Skype or FaceTime, whatever you're into. I will a uh, you know do a quick little trivia session with you over Skype, and you will get to pick a pop culture art square from my huge collection of over a thousand of those from my friend Drew A. Blank. I'll give you a bunch of options. We'll do a little Skype session. It'll be a fun little five to 10 minutes of your day, and all you have to do is leave a review, be episode, be review 85 to 90, and send me an email, ryanbuds at gmail.com, as soon as you leave that review so I know to coordinate the Skype session with you. But that is my offer to you to try and get those reviews up to 90, and then we got some real special stuff to get it up to 100. Thanks so much for listening to this show. Thanks for telling a friend, and remember this Thursday, Game of Thrones, 15 questions on our mini episode. Subscribe to this show so you never miss a full-length or mini episode. Full-length episodes on Tuesdays, the mini episodes on Thursdays. Hope you have a great week. Hope you have a great Valentine's Day and you find some love. We'll see you next time on the Trivia with Buds podcast. Bye-bye.